So I'm here with Thomas Jaeger, and he's about to take me around the, the Nordschleife circuit in Germany, which I'm a little bit excited about. Thomas, this is a, a circuit that's very close to your heart. Yeah, definitely, because um, we did the development with the SLS AMG GT3 here, and uh, it was the first overall victory for the car and for me as well. So it's very special. It's a very exciting track. We see afterwards up and down, left, right, many, many corners, very demanding. So very special and very unique. It's going to be a very, very interesting experience, that for sure. And we've got a couple of Mercedes in the lineup as well. We've got some Lamborghinis next to us in the green Lamborghini uh, behind me. We've got Valentino Rossi, the seven-time MotoGP champion. I think Peter Cox is out there somewhere as well. It's, it's quite a little collection of cars and drivers we've got. So let's see what this 14 miles is all about. Okay, so we're just pulling out of the pit lane here at the Nordschleife. Thomas Jaeger, as I've already said alongside me, driver in the FIA GT1 World Championship for Al Inkel in their Mercedes. So this was uh, the fastest part of the track. We reached like about yeah, almost 300. And here, as you see, it starts to, to be really bumpy. Yeah. So the whole track is, is very bumpy. And um, yeah, it's a special part because the long straight always gives the opportunity to, to overtake, to use the slipstream yeah. before you enter um, the Grand Prix track. And was that, was that long straight, was that the old start finish straight? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. And then this is where in the, uh, in the 24 hour race, the circuit rejoins the new Grand Prix. Exactly, you come in here, then it goes into Hatzenbach. It's very tight here. Um, Especially in wet, it's very slippery, and you see it's going downhill. Very fast corners to come here with yeah, fourth gear. A lot of grip here on the new on the new asphalt, and very bumpy as well. You can imagine if this is a road car with a race car, it's even yeah. stiffer and more bumpy. Through Hatzenbach, you see no runoff area. Yeah, so it's very important to make no mistakes. How, how long have you been driving on the Nordschleife? When was the first time you drove on it properly? Uh, 2006. Oh, really? So I started quite late. 2004, yeah. I did, um, yeah, like four hour races, six hour races, yeah. then the first 24 hour race. Yeah. Here we come to Flugplatz, where the front uh, okay, gets yeah. really light, you Whoa. can feel it. Short brake, turn in, and gas. Very fast corner, usually four skier. Yeah. And then it's going down to Schwebenkreuz. So you need a quite quite a lot of experience, not only for the track, as it's yeah. very difficult, but also for the traffic, because there are up to 200 uh, cars in a race. Yeah. And therefore it's important to know yeah, where you can overtake, where it's safe, where not. And you see the track is also very very demanding. Yeah, well there's, that's, that's where I always crash on our back because <laughs> you come over the brow and yeah. you get all out yeah. and it's like oh there's a tight corner. Yeah. Now it's going down into Fuchsdöre. Also very special, you see the bumps. Yeah. It's absolutely flat in a race car. Yeah. Really into the compression here. Whoa. You always hear strange noises. Yeah. And then Adenauer Forst, you have to be really slow. Second gear, very, very slow corner. Some go straight, you know, yeah. but you see the high curbs. Yeah. Usually the car is completely damaged. And this is also a very special part towards Metzgesfeld, as the braking area here is really bumpy. Yeah, oh, it is. And here you can carry a lot of speed. So, Presumably because the curbs are quite high, aren't they? You they don't tend touch to it. touch them, yeah. There's only two or three parts where you where you should touch them. Yeah. Otherwise, you, you go to the curb and it really pushes you out. Yeah. Also here, very special, this left-right hander. You can imagine you need a few laps till you really know where the right braking point is yeah, absolutely. and so on. Going down to Breitscheid, this is um, 
The lowest part of the track. Uh, okay. Now it's going up. Direction Bergberg. Here's the louder corner. Ah, uh, okay. Very difficult corner because it's it's flat, but you see, you you cannot really judge if it's slippery or not, if it's yeah. wet or dry. That's that makes it really, really difficult. Yeah. And from here, very important to be early on gas, to carry a lot of speed, because it's all flat out. Really? You see the, the movements of the car, yeah. yeah? So it's a lot of work for the driver. And I mean, you're going like 270 up here. Yeah. So, um, yeah, very narrow, yeah? Yeah, very, yeah. very. A little bit of a break, turn in and gas again. And so you did a lot of development of the, uh, of the GT3 race car around here. Does, yeah. Does that make it obviously very good around this kind of circuit? But this is quite a unique circuit, isn't it? It's, it's nothing like modern race circuits. That's true, but... Um, it really, it's very, very hard for the for the car, for the suspension, for everything. Yeah. So um, it makes the car very reliable. Yeah. Carousel. Carousel. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going up to Hohe Acht. So here, to pay attention with the curves, like I said before, if you touch the inside, yeah. you're, you're off. Difficult part here as well, Hepix he, he here, because um, yeah, you're always a little bit on gas, you have to brake a little bit, rolling a lot. And here, that's one part where you really have to attack the curve, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, otherwise you, you get pushed out too far on the left-hand yeah. side. So with overtaking slower cars around here must be yeah. a, a nightmare. I don't, I don't understand how you can do it. <laughs> Sometimes in a 24-hour race, for example, in one stint, uh, yeah, you you overtake like 40, 50 cars per lap. Really? Yeah? So, and how much how much does it affect your lap time? Would you it, say a clear lap versus a kind of a race lap where you're overtaking? It depends. Yeah, if you can can overtake it. At the straights, for example, yeah. um, it's no problem. But if you have to wait here, for example, because yeah. some slower cars are fighting with each other, yeah. it's difficult. Sometimes you're like 20 seconds, 30 seconds slower. Really? Yeah? So um, you also have to pay attention not to risk too much, yeah. because risking too much, you might crash. Yeah. Big jump here, also very exciting. That's where you can see always <laughs> the cars being with all four wheels in the air. Yeah. And you competed in the uh, the 24 hour race this year, didn't you? Yeah. And it was, it was going all right. Yeah, we were leading till five hours till the end, but unfortunately then we had a failure. The, the rear shock broke and that's why we were out of the race. It was a shame, but at least after the 24 hour race, we could win the six hour race yeah um, yeah at least also great success for the team and for the car yeah now we're coming back to Döttinger Höhe you need to carry a lot of speed and then uh, yeah that was yeah. one lap on the Nürburgring Nordschleife I hope you enjoyed it I did it was incredible I hope that was a lot quicker than I was expecting actually I don't know uh, I don't know how long it took <laughs> but, uh, but wow that was uh, <laughs> I don't really know what to say, Thomas. That was incredible. But there's, uh, there's, um, uh, I'm not very good at this job now. All of a sudden, uh, there's the lap of the, of the Nordschleife circuit. Absolutely incredible experience. And you can, as I'm sure you're aware, you can bring your road guy here, pay him a couple of pounds, and and have a go. I mean, be careful with it though, because I mean, there is some. That's very important. I mean, you should there. look videos. You should uh, make play sh PlayStation several hours to be sure where to go left and right because without uh, track knowledge first time on the track it's really um, yeah 
it's it's uh, dangerous. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thanks yeah. a lot for that, Thomas, and I, I hope you enjoyed that as much as <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Thank you very much.